Hello, uh, my name is Aminata Kone. I am based in Paris, France, where I work as a regulation analyst at a union for public service companies in the electricity sector, though I am not speaking in my professional capacity here. When asked what issues the COVID-19 crisis has brought to light for me, something that stands out is the inequality in risk exposure between groups that are largely separated along class lines. While all of us are likely affected physically, emotionally or psychologically by the pandemic and the measures taken to contain it, uh, some of us, including myself, are privileged in being able to work from home and be shielded from risk in relative comfort. That relative comfort depends on the continued services provided every day by essential workers, which include not only medical staff, but also utility workers, social care workers, cashiers, police officers, delivery drivers and farmers, to name but a few. These workers are among the lowest paid across economies, not very visible or protected before the crisis, but the most exposed to risk during. In France, the salaries of the workers who keep the country going during lockdown are generally lower than the country's average income. In the US, one in three essential jobs is held by women, mostly from lower classes. In the UK, workers from Romania have been flown in to take up essential agricultural jobs and prevent a food shortage. But these same workers would likely not be granted a visa under the UK's proposed point system designed to attract higher skilled migrants. Income inequality has been a contentious issue for years, as attested, for example, by France's Gilets Jaunes movement. Um, the COVID-19 crisis is bringing to light how skewed this relation between a job's public utility and its reward really is. And I think there will be no getting around this issue after the crisis.